Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Lazy Sundays. And if it's the first time you've seen my channel, welcome. My name is Tiffany. And today I'm gonna do a little chit chat with you guys. I feel like this is the first time I actually sit down and do this kind of video. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys how to be confident in your own body um, or confident in dressing yourself. I feel like this is such an important subject because I've been seeing a lot of comments or DMs saying that um, I've been changing the ways people dress themselves with people who have the same body type like me, which I feel so appreciative of you guys watching my video. First of all, thank you so much. But also I just wanna share with you guys how I become, how I personally become confident in my own body. Before we get started, please do subscribe down below to Lazy Sundays and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram for daily outfit and spose, definitely follow me there. I will link it down below as well. Okay, so give you guys a little background. I was born in the United States but I was raised in Taiwan. My first language was Chinese. All I knew was, you know, Taiwan, Taiwanese culture, Asian culture. And growing up, I was never skinny. I love to eat, obviously, I still do. But I was also growing up in the Asian culture and then people surround me are normally tiny <laughs> or skinnier. Like around like age nine or 10, I started to feel like I need to start eating less or lose weight or why do I not look like a person who's sitting next to me in the classroom because she's so much skinnier and um, all this stuff. So once I moved to United States and I go back to Taiwan every summer to visit my family, I realize that every time they see me, they'll be like, oh, Tiff, you gain weight <laughs> or Tiff. Why do you look like you gain weight? All these critiques I've been hearing, I just feel like I constantly have this pressure to be like, oh, I need to look better, I need to lose weight, like why am I not losing weight, whatever. But I also love food, so I have this like, you know, <laughs> dilemma in my head. I also think that's part of the Asian culture, that once someone, your relative, someone you haven't seen for a long time, you see them, they will kind of, the first thing they critique is your weight. I don't know why. Um, not try to normalize it, I don't think it's normal, but at the same time, every I feel like everyone in, in Asia does this. <laughs> um, just like, that's the first thing they see, I guess, so then they just like, instantly just be more straightforward what they think and say it to you. Not even just my family or autists, but also some of my friends from Taiwan that will say the same thing once I see them. Of course, growing up, you keep hearing that even when you go back throughout the years, you keep hearing that and then it kind of just make you having this pressure of constantly need to lose weight. And then I got really uncomfortable with my own body and then like I remember these two incidents in Taiwan. <laughs> um, so one time, I think when I was like age 15, I was going out with my friends. I was wearing this like a bubble dress or like, you know, a loose dress. And this person on the street was selling like some kids toy or something like that, like a street selling, came up to me and was like trying to promote his toys to sell. And then he was saying, oh, like this toy will be perfect for the baby in your belly. And then at first I was like, what are you talking about? I was super confused. And then I realized that he thought I was pregnant. I was like, wow, do I look really that big? To a point that I look like I'm a pregnant lady. And I really like lower my self-esteem a lot because it's from a stranger. Um, and then another year I went back around like maybe 16 or age 16, 17. I, um, me and my friends decided to go to a water park and then I was wearing sweatpants instead of bathing suits. And I was just so insecure about myself. So then I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna show any of my skin. I'm just gonna go down the water slides with my sweatpants. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely one of the lowest point of my life. But, but I think looking back, it's more um, teenage thoughts, which just sucks. If you're a teenager watching this, definitely think know that in the future, things will become better and better and better for you. So don't be upset with current situation, whatever you're uh, you, th you think about your body right now. So throughout the years, I've become more confident and comfortable with my own body. And I think specifically right after college, I just become like more comfortable with what I'm wearing and stuff like that. So I have three tips, but these three tips definitely help me a lot uh, throughout the years to become more confident. Um, of what I'm wearing, how I look like, and stuff like that. So definitely want to share this with you guys. So the first thing is to get to know your body. You have to get to know your body first in order to move forward with your body image. I will start with 
just measuring yourself and get to know your body type or body shape. And when I say body shape, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stick to one body shape. I mean, honestly, your body changes over time. It's you, your body is never gonna stay in one shape. So um, I usually do this kind of exercise. I would say like once every two to three years. Like once I know something doesn't fit anymore, I will start doing this. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I need to lose weight to make myself fit into this clothes. Don't try to fit into a pair of shorts or a pair of pants that you cannot, like that was from like five years ago. Your body changed, okay? Like there's no point. Just like donate that. There's no point to pressure yourself into fit into clothes that doesn't fit you anymore. Once you get to know the body type, I will suggest to start making a list of features that you like about yourself. And when I say that, very importantly, it's not what other people perceive of you, it's what you perceive yourself. So for example, right now I really like my uh, collarbone, my shoulder area, um, my butt. <laughs> um, and honestly, I don't mind my small chest. I feel like this is fine. <laughs> I also want to emphasize that this activity should be more on the positive side don't think too much on what you don't like about yourself. Yeah, just try to focus on the positive side of things and the feature of your body um, because I feel like we're all so hard on ourselves and then I just think that we need to give our body some more love. Again, your body is always changing, so whatever you like or don't like during that time will be different from the next time you have another exercise like this. And the step following that is to find clothes that accentuate those parts that you like. For example, I like to wear these kind of clothes now just because I like to accentuate my collarbone and my shoulder. Um, once you wear something that's accentuate the favorite part of your body, you look at yourself in the mirror and you will feel like, oh my god, I look so good. And if you just like repeating that step throughout, you will feel better about yourself, better of your body. Okay, the first one was pretty long, um, but the second tip I have is to try to be <laughs> naked as much as possible. And what I mean by that is that I would honestly uh, walk around in my home naked a lot. No, it sounds super weird, but if the logic behind it is not that weird, the body itself will be more exposed to um, the mirrors in your house and then that reflection you will see it more and more. And of course you will then get used to what your body looks like and then you'll be more comfortable in your own body. That's the short story of it. Of course, if you live with someone like your family member, I wouldn't suggest to do that. This only happens when you're living by yourself or you with a significant other. Actually, with significant other will be great exercise just because I feel like a lot of time um, when it comes to relationship, people are still not comfortable with their body that much. I think this really helped me tremendously when I was pretty uncomfortable with myself, uh, with, my, with my body image. I started doing this more and more often in my room. And then once you see yourself in the mirror, you just become more and more comfortable with your body. Um, so I think this definitely helped a lot and of course when I first moved in with Jeremy, Jeremy was like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> he still does that sometimes, he still asks me like, what the heck are you doing? But he's definitely more and more uh, accustomed or used to that I just walk around with my underwear or sometimes no underwear at all. So um, of course the blinds are down or the windows are closed so no one can see that. Okay, the third tip I have is to not be afraid of trying new trends, trying new styles, or trying different styles. Because trying out different styles actually boosts up a lot of my confidence, um, just because I know what looks good on me, what doesn't. But you, you wouldn't know that unless you try it out first. Obviously, some new trends wouldn't look good on certain people or will, will look gorgeous on certain people but then like you wouldn't know unless you try them out on yourself also trying different styles can lead to finding your 
personal style as well so I think that's very beneficial and of course if your, your friends like certain style of clothing does not mean that you have to do the same you guys are different people different body type different body shape so yeah that's it guys I hope you guys find this video helpful this three tips definitely was really helpful for me um, so hopefully it's helpful for you as well and if you guys like this video please do give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe down below to lazy Sundays and if you guys want to see more of these kind of videos definitely let me know comment down below let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next video bye